beautiful solstice eve i want to say it is i had to like double check that solstice was not today <laughs> even though i'm doing solstice psychic readings right now um yeah we're kind of you know about 24 hours away 24 hours away from our solstice peak but you might be feeling the energies of solstice already yeah hey beautiful people how are you how are you on this beautiful weekend coming into a very distinct balance point on solstice and then shifting to the other side yeah so i'm curious how you're feeling did an energy update yesterday for the first time in like ages you know and i'm curious how you're feeling today it's a little bit of a mission for me to get here <laughs> doing psychic readings today i'm just like wow how's all this stuff going on i'm like can i sit down and do this now before it gets dark because <laughs> i wanted to do it outside you're feeling great yes awesome Just sitting there looking a stick. It's like, what is that noise? <laughs> it's like been really windy and then there's like no wind and I'm like, okay, I want to do it outside. <laughs> Let me sit outside. Cats are like running rampant today. <laughs> it was so funny when it was really windy, they didn't want to be inside yesterday either. I mean outside and they're all inside and then today they're just like, Let me out. <laughs> Kind of how I feel too when it's windy. I'm like, ugh, wind. It's good to blow everything away, but uh, yes. Yeah. So Penny said needed to relax. So I hope you got to relax today. All right. So just going to bring up this a live stream, and then we can start our psychic readings. Purely psychic readings today. It's just my daughter here and all the things. All right, cool. So I've got the comments here. All right, so how I work with my psychic readings is if you can give me a yes, please, or yes, I'd love a reading, or yes, please, when I say so, like now. Um, so then I've got like a list of yeses that I intuitively tune into and um, see who the message is for of who comes through so let's have a look here yes <laughs> yes 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 all right so we've got the yeses coming up it's got my laptop down there as well Yay, I made it. I really wanted to make it before the sun started going down. Because it's like before 5 p.m. and the sun's going down. I'm like, what? <laughs> However, I think it was about 10 days ago. I'm like, it's 10 to 5 and it's dark. I'm like, this is not okay. <laughs> and then I was like, when is solstice? When is solstice? <laughs> I'm like, yes, it's tomorrow. That means it's going to start getting lighter. The days will get longer and longer and longer and longer and longer. <laughs> I'm such a summer person. <laughs> Such a summer present. Okay, who is this message for? Okay, Tabitha. All right, completely different. Yeah, about to be summer. Yeah, it's winter here. All right, so Tabitha, this is the one that, that jumped out for you. Your life is a canvas. Artist, manifestation, and creative accountability. So no one has... No one is going to change your life for you. That is something that you need to do. And I know that that sounds like a bit of a no-brainer. And we're like, well, of course, Hannah. Um, however, I really feel like there is, um, there's some diamonds in the dirt is the sense that I'm getting from this card for you. And it's like you can see that she's, um, where is she? she's like standing up on top of this little peak um, of the mountain here. And I feel like you're, it's almost like you're looking at all this stuff and it's like, yeah, there's all these things, but it's almost like, cause when it says like creative accountability, it's almost like you're waiting, you're waiting for, um, I want to say you're waiting for someone to do it for you. It's kind of weird feeling, right? It's like, and then you'll get cold. I thought I'd be warmer for longer. Um, so, you know, like you're waiting for someone to do it for you. Or you're waiting for 
it's not even that you're waiting for a sign. It's like you're waiting for, I don't know, you're waiting for something. It's like you're like, yeah, all these things. But it's like you're waiting for someone to just hand it to you or do it for you. But that's not going to happen, right? So the creative accountability, I feel, is like... Um, when it says like the artist, the manifestation, your life is a canvas, only you can paint your life. Only you can create your life, right? Like no one can, it, it's like, if you don't take the damn action, it's not going to happen. You can see all these amazing things and all these amazing opportunities, but they will continue to pass you by if you do not just take that leap of faith and actually grab them by the hand, not just like, oh, these are nice. Look at those. It's kind of the energy of it. It's like, nah, man, like nothing's going to get fucking painted like that. <laughs> you need to actually like grab it and pick up the brush or take that action and walk out that door or whatever it is. Um, that's what that is, yeah? So the bottom card there is deep cellular healing. So Arcturus energy, it's the physical and emotional healing. Like you are going through a portal right now. You see this card here? It's like the big holes through the portal. You are going through a portal right now and it's like important that you, I want to say take this path. It's important that you pick up the brush and write your write your reality, yeah? And, and there's a difference between writing your reality and journaling and that sort of thing. There has to be action to follow that up. There has to be creative accountability, as the card said, um, as well. You know what I mean? Like that stuff, life just doesn't happen. You need to actually make it happen, yeah? It's a bit like that um, post that I wrote uh, yesterday in a sense of like, you know, every, not everyone who was born to lead will. And it's like some people will, um, you know, some people will, um, you know, like do some of the things, but not all the things. Or they'll do a little bit and then step back and won't do it again. Or, you know what I mean? Or like, oh, this is really nice. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, that's amazing, Kristen. I would love to see. I don't know anyone else who's gone. <laughs> She's got a moon tattoo too, she said. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, okay, so who is next? If you can give me another round, another list of yes pleases, that would be amazing. And let's see what comes up now. All right, so I'll just wait for this list to come through. Oh, this jacket is like the best at keeping it just so warm without the wind. It blocks the wind. It's designed to block the wind. They're the best. Wind barriers. Even though there's barely any wind. <laughs> but it's so warm because of that. Okay, who's this for? Kind of similar message on the, on this one. So Penny, Penny Evangelist, is that how you pronounce your name? So Penny, it's up to you. Check out this card, same sort of message. <laughs> it's up to you. No one is going to pick up the pieces for you. Only you can do that. Um, no one is going to shift your reality. Only you can do that. Nobody is going to heal you. Only you can do that. Nobody is going to move your house. Only you can do that. <laughs> Some interesting like things coming through there, right? Um, so it's up to you if it's going to be. Um, the bottom card of the deck is meditation brings answers, but I'm just seeing um, what else is here. So that's the bottom card. Meditation brings answers. Kind of interesting <laughs> opportunity is the card that I um, just pulled for more information. It's almost like an identical message. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. It's up to you. Oh, there's opportunities there, but you have to take them. Like you literally have to like say yes and not just say yes. You actually have to walk down that path. You actually have to like change your reality. You actually have to do something different. Like it's the thing, right? And um, let's pull one more card and see. I am just pulling random cards out of this deck too, by the way. Um, and so this one, even though it came upside down, it landed upside down on the opportunity card. <laughs> Um, if you believe there's an opportunity, but it will only happen. And not just if you believe, but if you take action, right? If you take action on what it is that is coming through for you. So this is kind of interesting. It's like the same message. Okay. So another card, let go. This is like then what you're hoping for, what you're scared of. You're scared of letting go. You're scared of the change. 
can't make this stuff up. Look at what the final card is. Success. But you have to believe and you have to let go. It being, I want to say being successful does require change. Having your dreams come true, also known as creating them in your reality, it requires change. And not many people get to this point because they don't accept change. They won't change. They might do all the journaling and do all the things, but they don't actually make the changes yeah so really strong message for you it's very similar all right who's next <laughs> who's next all right so if everyone if everyone can say yes please so the way i work with my psychic readings is once i move to the next person i say if you can comment yes please so i've got a fresh list of yes pleases that enables me to make sure the people that are here and watching are present um and I can tune in from the fresh list. Okay, who have we got here? I've just got my laptop down here. So Lisa Ordino, is that how you pronounce your name? So Lisa Ordino, let's have a look here. Oops, okay, this is... Are you right there? Uh, okay, so interesting. So Lisa or Dino. So I was just like talking to my German Shepherd who's sitting there. Some of you might not know I have a German Shepherd and like 50,000 cats. Um, <laughs> no, I've got nine. Um, so my German Shepherd, she's been sitting there the whole time. I just spoke to her and then I pulled the protection card. Um, now, German Shepherds are known to be guard dogs. Um, and so the protection, I'm curious if you need um, if you need protection I'm curious if you're in a situation that you're scared to leave or if you're like questioning um, it's almost like you're I want to say like you're questioning your sanity it's almost like you're you want to make changes but you're scared there's something going on where you're like, ah, this isn't right. But it's almost like you don't know what to do about it. So you just kind of block it out. But I feel like there's a sense there that you are, you are protected. And again, I'm just pulling random cards. People don't believe me when I pull some cards out. I know you guys do, but some people are like, ah, you just made that up. And I'm like, you can't make this stuff up. Um, so perception. So perception is the next card. And again, I'm just pulling out um, and communication. So you've got the protection card, perception, which is about seeing the truth, seeing a different point of view, seeing another reality. Um, and then the bottom card is the truth. So it makes me wonder if there is a part of you, I'm, it makes me wonder if the part of the doubting is um, you like questioning things and you're questioning your sanity, but it's almost like you're like, yeah but you're very connected to your truth you're like you know what i mean and i and i want to say too that you your feelings and you are receiving the truth like what you are seeing your perception is very connected to third eye there's even a there's an even even an eye on there um the perception is connected to your third eye is connected to seeing the truth is connected to your innate wisdom um which is your truth right and so the communication card it makes me wonder if this is you needing to communicate even within yourself to get clear and it feels like to be more solid in your truth it feels like to be more uh, where people don't question some people question you feel like you're questioning yourself and that's making you a little bit uneasy or a little bit almost needing the protection because you're like well I don't know like it's just like this big like ah what's happening here right um so let's see so the bottom card is the horse so accepting let's say accepting help from another and delegating authority so do you need help right do you need help in the communication part like I feel like you know you are protected yeah, you are protected. You're kind of doubting yourself though, but what you're seeing in your reality and your intuition is telling you the truth. And that's really important. And do you need support in being able to, um, 
like communicate and it's almost like a mediator so it makes me wonder if you're going through some sort of separation or even like legal stuff or considering it or something like that um the other thing that was coming to mind with the perception card and like the communication card is being um like connected to the truth sorry that the horse wasn't the bottom card but that's interesting that was underneath the the truth was the um, bottom card and so with the perception i wonder if there's um i'm not sure if you've got my shadow meditation so in my clear and activate pack on my website realityawareness.com um, and if you just scroll down a little bit there's the pink button you can sign up for my free clear and activate pack in there is the shadow meditation and the shadow meditation can help you to get clear on your truth right it helps to give voice to all these confusing parts and all these conflicting parts of you that are like um so the protection card you're like yeah but then you like doubt yourself and then you're like ah oh, but it's like you're clear on your truth but then you go into a bit of doubt and it's somewhat a little bit like oh my god am i going insane <laughs> so the shadow meditation can really help to voice all these different parts of you to be able to have that voice so you can get clear and really hold your ground on your truth yeah or in your truth so but ultimately you are protected and ultimately you are correct in what you're feeling in short <laughs> So I hope that helps. So we can have another round of yes pleases. That would be awesome. So let me know if that resonates or if you've got other questions or anything about that. Um, yeah, Lisa, yeah, awesome. You're so welcome. Okay. All right, shuffling these. I find it funny when people are like, you just made that up, I'm like, have you tried using cards? <laughs> Have you tried? Obviously not. <laughs> well, you wouldn't be able to put them down because they're addictive. What on earth is this all over? What have you been doing? What have you been doing? Running your muck everywhere. <laughs> all right. Who have we got here? Let's see. Lisa says, no, you are all truth. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> all right. So is it Gian Welch Ort Ortloff? Gian Welch Ortloff. There we go. Okay. So, and I didn't choose your name because you typed it in like three or four times. I actually just like as I scroll up through the list and just see where it stops and jumps out to me and I'll just get this person who is um, on my page and I trust that you guys know by now if I send you a friend request or you know if Reality Awareness or Hannah Andrews sends you a friend request it is not me somebody has forged my account and made a fake account and um, yeah, just don't don't give them credit card details. Don't do any of that because it's not me. I don't want you guys to lose money. I would never do that to you guys. Friend request me. I won't friend request you as much as I want to friend request you. It won't happen because look what happens. So, all right. So, all right. I think I pulled them off there. My moon tattoo. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is for Gian. So I was shuffling these. The horse card has come up. So the horse is accepting help from another and delegating authority. And then the lady of the lake, just like got the moons on the back here. <laughs> I can see them like we're just talking about the moon. Um, the lady of the lake, uh, absolute truth, more truth stuff coming up. Courage, self-respect and responsibility. So absolute truth, courage, respect, responsibility, self-respect. And the bottom card is the queen. This is interesting. Woman, fertility, feminine power, sexuality, and friendships. I am getting the strong message that you need to step up and take back your power. So the horse, even though it says accepting help from another and delegating authority, it is stop trying to do everything on your own. Stop, um, I want to say stop being in your masculine energy, but being in our masculine energy is just like 
a kind of layer of trauma that is like pushed to the surface and as a protection layer and it's almost like this femininity you're the lady of the lake that's like fully taking back your power this is like almost a goddess card and then the queen it's like time to take back your power time to stop suppressing the truth of who you are absolute truth right and time to step into your queendom um, woman, fertility, feminine power, sexuality, friendships, and really honor who you are. Drop that hard barrier, drop that cocoon that you've sealed yourself in and tucked yourself away and time to bring yourself out. So the horse, I always feel, let's say it's very connected to the solar plexus because it's where we ha hold, as our power center. The horse is very connected to the power, but horses are heart healers. They, they melt your heart. Like if you've ever been in the presence of a, of a horse, it's just straight in the heart. Like they're just the most powerful heart healers ever. They like dissolve the outer casing of your heart, right? So this, um, the heart, the horse, um, is very much about, it's time to open your heart again. It's time to break through that cocoon. It's time to dissolve that away because the truth of who you are wants to come out. Your heart doesn't want to be closed anymore. It's time to really step into honoring this this yourself and really coming back to that beautiful open-hearted feminine grace that you are yeah so that is Deanne so let me know if that resonates or not of course you don't have to um okay if I can have another round of yes pleases who's this another kitten or is it the same one I don't know I think we need to get we need to get colors for you don't we don't oh this is Simba I know this one are you being cheeky monkey? Hmm? So funny. So funny running around. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, it's so nice when there's no wind. <laughs> yes, it does. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. Let's see who we have here. Okay, is it Natalie? Natalie Alexander. So it's like Natalie, but not Natalie. It's like Natalie. Is that it? So Nat Natalie. Okay, who we got here? For Natalie. Ooh, cut your cords. Interesting coming off the two readings we've just done. Um, so cut your cords. This is for Natalie Alexander. Listen to intuitive feelings. This is very similar to what we've just been talking about. And emotional sensitivity. Um, kind of interesting. Bottom card is books. This can also be putting into practice what you've learned from the books. <laughs> Have you just read a book recently that is like, I want to say, given you the courage or given you more information about cutting cords or, I'm sorry, cutting cords, relationships, understanding things on a deeper level. Um, interesting that listen to your intuitive feelings came up next. So it's like cutting cords and then listen to your intuitive feelings and emotional sensitivity. Like it just feels... It feels like that you're in a really harsh environment and this is like i said interesting um with what we just came off talking about it's time to like break open your heart it's time to like excuse me dissolve the barriers around your heart it's time to like let your heart open again this like similar message to do that sometimes we need to release situations that no longer serve us now this is a, a past card right it's come up in you know, it's the first card I pulled, but then I pulled three. So technically it's a past card. So I'm wondering if you've just done that, if you've just walked away from a toxic situation, if you've just released yourself from it or are still untangling a little bit from it. So um, I always say cut cords with caution in a sense of like, you know, if you're going to cut cords, make sure that you always follow it up with shadow work um, because otherwise you, you know, the reason it's there in the first place is, it's not going to heal, right? It's just like taking a band-aid off. Like you need to like heal the wound of infection sort of thing. Um, so we need to cut the cords, but then do shadow work. So it makes me wonder if you're still untangling yourself and it, and it feels like you might be down in a bit of a dark hole about it all. But I want you to know that you've made the right decision, even if you're doubting yourself or you're questioning at times. But you also know, but you're just like, ah. 
you know, but you know, I feel like sometimes this black hole almost like consumes you a little bit, but that's just the untangling process. It feels like that's just the, you know, it, it's, I want to say dissolving out of your system. Like if you think of a dirty sponge and we squeeze it out, that's all the water coming out. And sometimes we're like, Ugh, like, did, did I like, is that right? Like, yeah, it's right. And you're super, super sensitive. And it's like the best thing for yourself to have released yourself from that environment because I want to say you're way too sensitive. That's not really the thing. It's like, and it's not that you're too, ins too insensitive for the environment too sensitive for that environment it's more that that is just not <sighs> of course there's resonance with certain things like do you know what i mean like yeah there's certain resonance with certain things about whatever like you know like we wouldn't have been there in the first place but you've just outgrown it or also i feel like you're just I want to say you were never meant to be there and that's like a contradictory statement because we're always meant to be wherever we are for whatever reason for blah 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 it's just that sometimes we outgrow situations very quickly or we don't listen to our intuition in the start and so we end up being there a lot longer and so that sponge being like squeezed out of all the black stuff just takes a little bit longer for us to recalibrate into um remembering our sensitivity and or honoring it in a sense of realizing that we weren't meant to be in that environment in a sense of we're on a totally different path. It might seem similar and it might even look and feel similar, like of course, but you've got an entirely different path to walk. You've got a, a different purpose. It's very similar, but it's different, right? And I just feel like this is confirmation that you have made the right decision. Um, maybe you need to write a book about it, right? But I feel like it is something that you've learned recently and you've taken action on it and you've just been doubting yourself and the, it's like, don't doubt yourself because you have made the right decision, yeah? Just that squeezing out of all that stuff and the untangling. Um, if you don't have my Claire Sentient Sponge Clearing Meditation, so in, again, my Clear and Activate pack, that if you go to realityawareness.com and if you just um, scroll down a little bit, you see the pink button, that will take you to the Clear and Activate pack. Just need to exchange your email in that pack is the Claire Sentient Sponge Clearing. That would be what I'd highly recommend, like, almost on repeat but especially when you're feeling that um you know that kind of suffocating I feel like you've had waves of it that have just been like oh, like in a wave right so yeah I really just be knowing that you've made the right choice <laughs> so yeah let me know if that helps um hi Corey it's so lovely to have you here it's awesome okay Mimi's is this Simba back again? No, this is a different one. This is this is Mooney. This is Mooney. Let's see if you're a boy or girl. This is Mooney. <laughs> this is Mooney. All right. If I can have a fresh round of yes pleases, that would be amazing. <clears throat> can you please hop off? I don't want you knocking the cords over. That's a good girl. You're being good girl. Up. She'll stop playing with me. Okay. <laughs> You're so welcome, Natalie. Hello. All right. So some yes pleases. I'll just give that a moment to come through. Ah, oh, so good to be outside. Fur babies everywhere. <laughs> All right. Who's next? All right. Christina. Christina, that was strong. All right, let's have a look here. So, Christina. Oi! Since when are you allowed to do that? Yeah, I don't think so. I'm being ignored, so I'm going to pull all the stuffing out of the teddy. That always gets the attention. She knows that she's not allowed to. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right. So this is for Christina. Two fell out. Clear and shield your energy. Very similar. It's so interesting. Every reading today is like spun off the other one in a way. Clear and shield your energy. 
so I was just saying to Natalie about using the Claire Sentence sponge clearing to like start really pulling out all that stuff from her aura, like to help the sponge drain, right? And pull out all that. The other, the other card that fell down, check it out, Twin Flame. So have you been entangled with somebody or have you been shifting that out because this is coming into alignment? Now when the Twin Flame com card comes up, of course it can be an intimate personal relationship. It can also be the balance within yourself. So where have you been giving of yourself too much? Where have you been overexerting yourself, stretching yourself? Like, and it's almost like it's time to come back to you now. Um, yeah, we did sponge clearing last night. I just pulled another card. This is yoga. So it feels like, oh, check out the bottom card. <laughs> Need I say any more? <laughs> so, um, so clear and shield your energy. Um, okay, let me just pull this up. Twin flame and the yoga. Now, the yoga card obviously can be very much like do yoga. This is very similar to a nature card that it's like coming back to your true nature. Yoga pulls you back into your true nature. Yoga pulls you back into yourself. Yoga is a very powerful clearing energy. Like it just, you know, I always say the best form of protection um, and best form of clearing your energy is you being in your body. The best form of you getting in your body is through exercise, right? Exercise, yoga, mind, body, spirit connection, um, you know, practices, you know, like those sorts of things. Um, but that's going to like pull you back in and let's have a look here. So we pulled the teacher card. Let's have a look. So manifestation power. That will amplify your manifestation power. And this one, Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is helping you. I'm wondering if you've been seeing blue around, blue spots or like sparkles or just blue in general. Um, Archangel Michael's around, even purple. Getting that with the, well, it like, looks like pink on the screen. Well, it kind of is. Even Archangel Metatron as well, the pink and purple colors. Um, but the manifestation power, so this is like in the what you're hoping for and what you're scared of, this really feels like the birds are screaming overhead and the cows are starting to go and everyone's screaming. It's almost like, are you like listening? Um, in a sense of coming back to your true nature, this is in the what you're hoping for and what you're scared of. Did I just pull it out from a different deck? Where's that deck? I put that deck down. I've pulled out from a different deck. That's amazing. Obviously needed to have it from this deck. So <laughs> I'm like, hang on a sec. So the manifestation power is in what you're hoping for and what you're scared of. Are you scared of your power? Right? You've got teacher being the bottom card of the first deck that I pulled. <laughs> and then... It's like, are you scared of your manifestation power? Are you scared of who you really are? And that's what Archangel Michael does, pulls us into who we really are, pulls us into shining your light, living your life purpose. You have been scared. Okay. Yep. That's a big part of it, right? Because, and this is what I was saying at the start about, um, I think to Tabitha and somebody else around everybody wants an amazing life, but not many people are willing to go through the changes that happen when you step up to make to make it happen because life does change like you know it's been maybe one of the biggest things as well for even myself over the years it's like you know especially around that 2018 like I was so conscious that you know when I really think about my dream life and everything I'm like well I definitely wouldn't be living here and I definitely probably wouldn't be like in this same environment or you know connecting with the same people all the time like that wouldn't be a thing like and that was a really big thing to shift out of like it's one of the biggest things that I had to go through like it's massive right and not many people really let go of the friendships that are draining or not really aligned with your big picture vision like you know the reality is is that i almost wrote a blog about this the reality is is that you know things do change and not many people are willing to do that right so yeah it's not easy however um you know you did get that message so maybe this twin flame is about you balancing that within yourself right to come back to your true self stop overexerting yourself to places where you are drained and that you do have you know that protection is like you're just absorbing because you're overexerting in a way 
and then like the twin flame and the yoga is you coming back into balance, coming back to your true nature for your manifestation power because Archangel Michael is like right there <laughs> and you've been, you know, calling him in. So that's no surprise. All right. So yes, balance within me. Yeah. All right. So another round of yes, please be amazing and make sure I put these back in the right deck it's interesting picking up two different decks important messages obviously <laughs> yes background noises right <laughs> oh I was in a place on Saturday night that had very interesting people ah interesting so it's like clear your energy because that was just last night <laughs> yeah all right, someone said they're feeling overwhelmed. So um, I'm not sure if you watched my energy update live stream yesterday. That might help with understanding the overwhelm energy. Um, it's been really intense energy. There's been a lot of, there's been a lot of, let's say, collective doubt. Um, a lot of like things, uh, questioning things that you're doing. A lot of, you know, am I doing the right thing? Knowing you are, but unsure, but yeah, you know. Um, Overwhelm can also be like an overwhelm of energy in your system that's just not yours. So you might want to check if um, you are carrying somebody else's energy as well. Since that I'm getting there. Overwhelm is also learning something new and new brain, new pathways. Like connecting and stuff like that. But if you haven't really been learning anything new um, specifically, then it, it feels like you're carrying energy. So yeah, make sure you use my clear and activate pack. So yeah, let me know if you don't have that. and the sun is heading down the horizon. Not able to let go, yes. So the not able to let go just means you haven't grieved. You haven't, you haven't grieved that yet, yeah? You haven't grieved what you're trying to let go of. Everyone says, how do I let it go? I'm like, cry more. <laughs> like how your friggin' eyes out more. All right, so, oh, it was Nita who said that, is it? Yeah. All right, so just checking these comments. All right, so Skylight, oh, so hands, hands. All right, let's see. talking about letting go <laughs> so hands or skylight um surrender and release yeah surrender and release i want to say let go you're holding on too tight <laughs> so maybe this is a message from more than one person as they always are you're holding on way too tight your wings want to fly but they're capped and trapped in this circle and that circle is like this well of water that just wants to bust out and bust open um our wings are connected to our heart. They're in our heart chakra in the back of our heart. Um, look, Archangel Michael has come up again here. So something that you are, you know, it's almost like there's grief stuck in your heart. You need to cry. You need to get that out to be able to release. Romance card is coming up. So interesting, right? Um, so if we're wanting to build a relationship with somebody and we're feeling blocked or something, it is like we need to let go. We need to let a piece of that go. We need to grieve. Right? When I say let go, I mean you need to grieve. And then the romance card, as Christina pulled the twin flame as well, can very much be about balancing within yourself. So sometimes we've been in a relationship and we feel like we've lost ourselves, right? Or we've lost a part of ourselves. Or we're so used to having a masculine and feminine or either or, um, you know, in the relationship. And then we have to like find the rebalance again within ourselves to be able to then attract another relationship if that's what you want, right? long term children so inner child yep or in search of a girlfriend okay <laughs> so the children card has come up and that's interesting i just read that when you had put that in inner child work yeah so sometimes when we're in search of a relationship it's coming from not always but sometimes it can be coming from a needy relation like a needy or like um empty place and with the surrender and release, it's almost like, you know, there's grief in there about being alone and you haven't felt it. And sometimes it's like a big well, a big hole that um, 
needs to be filled up or you know what I mean like it, it's it's not needs to be filled up it, the dam walls need to be released for the heart to open there's been a lot of that on this call as, get, as well today so that this balance does come in and that needs to come within yourself first but sometimes we need to work with inner child to heal and release any um uh, like sabotage blocks sabotage patterns I'm getting the message of specifically with this card today um but also um what's the word uh, like childhood patterns that are keeping you blocked and subconsciously keeping it away from you, right? So Archangel Michael is helping you with that. Um, you can get my inner child meditation on my website as well. If you go to realitywellness.com and then scroll down the page, you'll find the audio meditation section and you can go to that um, page and um, yeah, find the audio meditation page there's the inner child meditation can work with that there so yeah that's what I'd be looking at healing working on shifting deep inside of you um, okay so another round of yes pleases Let's see how many I can do before the Sun goes down I'm getting through people it's good <laughs> I'm gonna help as many as I can now I'm getting hot with it coming through Thank you so much for your beautiful messages and precious time. You're so welcome for sharing your beautiful gift. Your beautiful messages resonate. Yeah, you're so, so welcome. So, so very welcome. All right. New around. Oh, God. Hi. Did you chew that? What did you do that for? Hmm? What did you do that for? <laughs> yeah, that's no. Huh? You know you're not allowed to do that. Sit. You're not sitting. Where's your ball? <laughs> I think she needs to play. <laughs> I think it's playtime. <laughs> All right. Lucy says the secrets are driving me crazy. I know, but need clarification to let go is driving me nuts. Hey, I'm on live stream. No. So sometimes when we're waiting for confirmation and we're like needing clarification or we're needing the answer, we already know. We already know. When we're looking outside of ourselves for confirmation, we already know the answer and sometimes we don't want to don't want to know the truth because we already know the truth. All right, so who is this card for? So where did it where did it where did it start? Oh, here, okay. I don't know if you can hear that banging noise or that metal clanging. The cows are like trying to push open the gate. <laughs> okay, who have we got here? Yeah. All right, Kristen. Kristen still here? Yes, Kristen. I feel like there's more than one person for this. So, but maybe this is just, there's always a message in here. Lucy says, I know, but I need to know. I'm like, but you already fucking know. You wouldn't be answering the question. I know I'm sounding like a bitch, but at the same time, I'm like, you're doubting your intuition because you already know. Your knowingness is your intuition. <laughs> okay, this is for... Kristen, Kirsten, Kristen. Kristen, the mother's milk. We, the hazards. Deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. I don't think you're having a baby or have just had a baby, but I feel like there's something about baby, and I don't know if that's your own birth or whether you are just birthing a whole new you right now. Um, there's a big, I don't know if you can really see, there's a big connection to the stars through, like, through the doorway, through the portal, through that, through the pillars and up the top here, the stars are really, really jumping out. Um, so it feels like that this, um, it's almost like oh, getting a strong message as well. So we are the havers. Like this is deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. Like, so that card, I'm still looking for the book. I'm still learning these ones. I'm pretty sure is a connection. Oh, temperature just dropped. Um, the cold, <laughs> the cold, I just pulled the void. Oh, I just opened to the void as well. The cold, 
the birthing portal, the birthing a whole new you, um, the, the sky is dark, um, except for the stars, of course, when we see them. Um, I feel like this is about like mother healing. Remind you that you're a child of the cosmic mother and you're being called to be held by her deep, never ending love and embrace. Um, you're being reminded that you're cradled in a sacred container. If you're struggling in any way, you're being reassured that things will work out. This is a message for a lot of people. <laughs> um, I actually pulled this on my story. Was it yesterday or today? I think it's everything is going to be okay. If you don't watch my stories, now that my office has been redone, I'm like making a commitment to pull more cards on my story. So make sure you keep an eye out for them. Um, especially if you need some like, what's going on? Hold on, just check my stories. Um, yeah, so definitely mother's embrace, but more that mother's there rather than, you know, technical mother healing, although it can mean that, but I'm getting a strong sense for you. Um, that wind's picked up. Um, I'm getting the strong sense for you that there's a, like all these stars and these people on either side, this is, um, like there's, I want to say there's strong messages coming through. There's, there's a whole new realm about to open up to you. There's a whole new, did I just pull the void before? This isn't the void card, but look at it, right? This is perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out and what well, doesn't say find common ground. It says common ground. And so this, it feels really, um, in a sense that, uh, like, I just feel like there's so much more. It's almost like there's so many more messages. There's so many more, um, like you're about to birth through something. You're about to receive something massive in a sense of a new sense of self or in a new, and I'm getting the message you have to trust a lot at the moment. And I feel like this is what this card is about. Like step back, you know, zoom out, you know, like just, just stop trying to figure it out right now because it's coming. Like all these messages are about to pour through. There's new spirit guides waiting to come through, but it feels like you're too like focused on this one thing and you just need to like, just hands off for a minute. Like just, just let go. Oh, look at, look at the bottom card of the deck. <laughs> Loosen your grip. <laughs> coping mechanisms, density, addiction, let God in. And that's what I was getting like, just let go. Just, just, can you just stop? Like, just, just stop trying to figure it out. Cause you're going to send yourself crazy, right? In a way you have to get out of your own way. Yeah. Cause there's, there's big things wanting to drop in, but I keep getting the message about space. Now we are in ear chakra consciousness. We're stepping into throat chakra consciousness tomorrow. Um, but the ears are all about space. Like if you can't, stop or if you're not listening or not open to receiving the new way then it's not, it's not there's no space for it to come in right so let's see what this one is um cold <laughs> okay <laughs> so cold soul gifts and training it's time to step up and look at it it's like a full platinum light. Can't really see it on that card. It just looks white. But there's this beautiful platinum light as you're like stepping into this new realm. And that's what I was getting with this. Like you're about to birth through something. You're about to... There's a whole new you coming through. There's a whole new avenue. There's a whole new something about to birth through. So as you said, get out of your own way. <laughs> Let go. Loosen your grip. Um, just it's almost like look how much look how many stars there are but when you're so focused on just all the things in front of you that's all we see in a way but there's just so much more and I feel like that's where in the ear chakras if you watch the ear chakra live stream it's all about that space it's all about the interdimensional realms it's all about all those other pieces of you that you can tune in to open and listen um and it just feels like if you can just stop and let like just let yourself just it's almost like I, I keep hearing that trust the timing, trust the timing, trust the timing. As you said, get out of your own way, but just, just let go, just stop, just stop a minute, just stop. So I want to say, just stop, just stop, <laughs> right? <laughs> so <clears throat> who is next? So we can have another round of yes, pleases. Be amazing. Perfect. <laughs> Splashed them out. 
You're so welcome. All right, who is this for? This one. All right, so two decks. Okay, so who is this for? Because these messages are already coming through. Uh, okay, so is it Michaela? Michaela Webb? Michaela Webb. So Michaela Webb, this started really pouring through. So look for a sign. Look for a sign because your intuition is on point. <laughs> so I've just been getting that message really strongly for a lot of people. Your intuition is correct. Don't doubt yourself. <laughs> um, that almost, yeah, it's like a lightning bolt in his hand, that big white thing. And we know that Archangel Uriel is connected to lightning and the out of the blue ideas that are like the lightning bolts that come in and you're like, whoa, where did that come from? <laughs> um, obviously storms and everything like that are connected to Archangel Uriel as well. So look for a sign. I want to say your intuition is correct, right? Um, be assertive, hold your ground with that. Look at all that light. You are really supported in, in this. When you trust your intuition, look at how strong that white light is on there. When you trust intuition, look how strong that light is. Okay. You are so supported through this and she's holding a big key. Yeah. But you need to be assertive, hold your ground and trust. You need to trust these messages that are coming through your clear cognizant thoughts. Because by you holding your ground in this peace, in this assertiveness, is a peaceful resolution. But as you hold your ground, it's not. Sometimes it's not easy, right? You need to like hold your ground, stay firm. Don't, don't, don't. What is it? Don't bend the rules. That's not the right word. Don't, don't give in. That's not the right words either. Don't let other people influence you. Like, do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, don't, don't get worn down from them is the sense that I'm getting. Like, it's like they just keep trying and 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 trying until you break. <laughs> but do not, <laughs> do not break because this is on its way. Yeah, peaceful resolution is on its way. And it's the perfect timing for you to do this. Look at how much the light is shining on these white bits today. Um, in this reading, like you are really supported by the spirit realm with these changes and these choices that you're making. You just need to trust yourself, hold your ground and just hold firm. Just no, 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 no. I said no, no. And sometimes you might feel weak and you go and strengthen yourself and you come back and you're like, no, it's still the same answer. <laughs> because by you holding your ground, even though it might be rocky, things will shift. Yeah. So that is your message. We can have another round of yes pleases. All right, back to this stack. Who is this one for? So I don't know if that resonates or not with you. Um, who was that? Just checking the name. Michaela. I think that's how you pronounce that. Michaela. Hey, Michaela. You're so welcome. All right, let's wait for these yes pleases. You're so welcome. All right, who is this one for? Okay, so Samantha, Samantha Wade. Lots of stars here. Child of the cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. Does anybody else need any more cards to trust their intuition today? Because <laughs> this is what this is about. Without reading the book, that is what that is about. Um, and so I feel like this is a message for everyone because there's a lot of people that have been talking about trusting your intuition, holding ground with that. Look at the light on these freaking cards. <laughs> Again, this happened the other day, right? Um, child of the cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. It is just like so much light in there. You need to trust your intuition. And the reason I said that this is a message for a few people is because this bottom card is the portal. Doors are opening. You 
decide. This is literally what it says. It says you decide. Rewards and a wild card. This stems on to the first reading we did today. I think it was for Tabitha. Life is not going to change for you. Nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody's going to heal you. Nobody is going to make those actions. Nobody's going to change your life. Nobody's going to magically save you. Nobody, no, it's not fucking happening. You decide. Wild card, you are supported by the cosmos. You have the intelligence of the cosmos within you. Your inner child is full of wisdom. And yes, she, he can be scared at times. But when you nurture that relationship with your inner child and you heal those traumas that are blocking you, stopping you and holding you back and making you doubt yourself because when you're a child, you got told over and over that you were incorrect and you were wrong and you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And so you went into submissive little you. That is not who you are. You are a powerful being deeply connected to the universe. You are a powerful child of the universe. You have within you all the answers, all the intelligence, everything that you know deep in your heart is correct and the only thing that you are doubting is all the trauma that's sitting on top between you and yourself. You know what to do, but you are the only person that can make that happen. This is a wild card, meaning that the future is not set in stone, that you can wish and look at all these beautiful things. That, oh, this is so nice. But looking at them and seeing how nice they are is not going to change anything in your reality unless you take the action that you have been putting off, that the infinite intelligence, also known as your heart, is guiding you to take. That means that your life will change. It will, in some way, shape or form, it will. Sometimes a full 360 and back again, right? Doors are opening, but will you step through? Will you actually allow the, the cosmos, the intelligence of the universe to truly support you through that? Or are you too scared to actually trust that infinite wisdom that you have been guided to take. Yeah. I'm just going to read this child of the cosmos. Let's have a look here. So what are you scared about? What is that? I feel that's a message for a lot of people, to be honest. There's a mysterious force that governs all of life. An intelligence that tells flowers when to bloom and when t the tides and seasons when to come and go. That intelligence is within you too. It was there before you drew your first breath and it will be there well beyond your last. It is part of, it is the part of you that informed every cell what to do when you were in your mother's womb. It is harder to resist this force than it is to surrender to it because earth is a planetary, as a planet of polarity and free will and it's easy to forget that this intelligence exists within us. So often we become disconnected from this pulse of life and fall into the pattern of believing that we are separate or feeling that we need to go it alone. We can feel isolated and if we need to figure things out for ourselves to rely on our own strength. This is such a strong message, right? This is like, let go. For fuck's sake, you already know the answer. Trust your wisdom, trust your intuition. The only thing that's stopping you is all the trauma, childhood hurt and all that stuff. That's why we go back. That's why we doubt ourselves. That's why we stay there. That's all the things, right? You're being called to remember the intelligence that is within each and every one of your cells. To remember that you're a precious child of a loving, gentle universe. That you have access to all of the intelligence, wisdom, strength, flow and qualities there ever were or ever will be. And to remember that if flowers know exactly when and how to bloom, you do too. Yeah? You do too. Such a fucking beautiful card. Look at it, hey? <laughs> that hit home, right? This innate intelligence is right there. You can connect to it right this instant. Right now. It's right there. It's through every single 
breath that you take. It's through every bird. It's through every blade of grass. It's through every drop of water. And through my daughter's <laughs> laughing and carrying on with her friends. <laughs> it's in everything. And every time we look outside of ourselves, we already know the answer. We already know as all the ducks take off. Very strong. Yep. There's the message. <laughs> there is the message. Yes, it's loud and clear. Uh-huh. You guys already know. It's awesome that you're crying because that's just like right on point. There it is. It's hit home. It's hit right in the heart. It's right there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. It's going to get dark any second and cold. And sorry, Sunday get cold. I'm going to fire soon. <laughs> An outside fire. All right. So if you are struggling to trust your intuition or you trust it and then you go back and you're like, oh my God, I did it again. Trust intuition is definitely for you because it is about releasing the trauma out of your system. But it's also not just releasing the trauma out of your system, but how do you actually learn to trust your intuition after all that's been sitting there for like your entire freaking life? That's a big deal, right? So we start in a couple of weeks. This is the first time and possibly the last time I'll be running it as a 10 week live event via Zoom so we can all connect in around the world, which is the closest to in person at this time. And this will be over 10 weeks. So it is quite big and it will be intense, but you'll come out the other side as a certified intuitive healer that is internationally recognized worldwide. So it's the real deal for you to really step in and hone your psychic abilities, to really trust intuition, to step out of those things that are driving you buddy around in circles and enabling you to actually be the person that you know deep in your heart that you are, that peeps itself out a little bit and then kind of calls back in. It's time to fully stand in your truth, own it, claim it and be the light that you are. Link is in the title of this live stream. You can find it on my page. Send me a message if you've got any questions about it. And I shall see you soon. Have a beautiful rest of your weekend. I love you. Bye.